Today we'll stay closer to home and just check out Sinclair. Elementary school, except as of last spring, it's closed and just never going to be a school again. Thing here either. So ahead you can see part of the word bar on the left that is the one bar when you come into town. Up about a block on the right is the one restaurant in town. This is the library. The whole county library system nearly closed this year so now it's open five hours a week split over two days. This is the rec hall. I don't know I've never heard of anyone going to it because it's never open, but it's got foosball, I guess. And then this is the main street in the center of town. It's been like this for months. Hey. So there are no Sinclair post office employees. Other local post offices send someone for a couple hours a week. There is no home delivery in Sinclair. So a couple years ago when they talked about closing this post office, People freaked out because that would have meant, you know, minimum 15 minute drive to Rollins to get your mail and just nowhere in town, which would be dumb. Once upon a time, historically, the Parco Hotel was important. Now it's a nifty looking building, so I think it's mostly full of church. Around here, town ends pretty abruptly, except for the refinery, which is up there. Feels kind of metropolis-y. This is super lit up at night, and from medium far away, it looks like it's a huge city really far away, and then it's just friggin' heartbreaking. Yes, this is maybe where they fill the train cars but then wind up over here waiting to be part of a train. Well, if those can be said to be highlights, that was the highlights of Sinclair. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>